I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR2 News Update. Governor Larry Hogan visited another vaccination site Friday. This time he was at the ARC of Prince George's County. The organization helps people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and their families. Although this smaller site can administer 3,000 shots a day like some of the other mass vaccination sites, the governor says community sites like this are still very important. It's all part of this big mosaic of an effort with thousands of people trying to do millions of vaccines in a short period of time. It's a huge undertaking. It's the biggest peacetime undertaking uh, in our nation's history. The governor expects two and a half million people in the state to be vaccinated within the next two days. Anne Arundel County plans to begin phase 2B of vaccine distribution at the end of this month. On March 30th, teens ages 16 and older with disabilities and underlying health conditions will be able to get their shot. Right now, the county is following state guidelines and is in phase 2A, which allows people ages 60 and older to get vaccinated. With new groups becoming eligible, with more and more groups becoming eligible for the vaccine, you need the most up-to-date vaccination information. And there's an easy place for you to find everything you need. Just head to WMER2 News slash VaccinatingMD. We can also click on the Vaccinating Maryland tab on our homepage. High pressure dominates your Saturday forecast. That means lots of sunshine. Temperatures in the 50s as you wake up. Heading into the afternoon, we climb into the upper 60s, where I think we actually top out near 72 here in the city. 70 in Parkton, 69 in Chestertown. Seven-day forecast shows a chance of showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be on the strong to severe side for your Sunday. That all clears out as cold air arrives on Monday. Temperatures hit the 60-degree mark, and then we're warming towards the upper 60s before another system brings rain chances, shower opportunities, and we could see a little bit of wintry mix in the northwest elevations. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.